When I look at my life, eh, I just have to wonder. Mommy and Pasi are a failure. But then again, everybody's failure for them except Rajendra. And now, I'm not going back to school. Then, there is David. He is everything to me. Every time Mommy and Pa are not here, I just give him the signal that he could come. And he just reach. He don't say much. He's a man of action. Now I am a woman. I am a girl like before. I love him like I never loved anybody before. I used to hear them girls in school talking. But I never bother with it. I used to say, not me. Now I see why Sheila so. But I don't want to be like she. But I understand. This is my secret. But I hope David marry me. Because I don't know if I could go on like this. And now Pa get this boy from Barrackport to marry me. But I'm not marrying anybody but David. And when he's not here, the hours would be like days waiting for him to come back. The other day we went back to by the boy. His name is Krishna. He is too bad looking. But that don't matter because I'm not getting married to he. But I was really surprised one day when he came home here. I was home alone. Good evening. Oh, it's you. Good evening. So, let me get now and have a seat. Mm. Well, I was in the area, so I decided to drop in and see you. Oh, but well, well, mommy and them not home. But well, have a seat now. I'm just doing some cleaning up and doing. Um, well, I, I could get you something to drink. No, it's all right. I stopped on the way and had a Coke. Oh, so your parents fixed the date yet? I don't know why I asked him that question when I really was not interested. I don't want to talk to him. I don't know why he come here. So, this is where you all uh, live? Yes. Hmm. I saw a poetry tree outside on uh, the um, empty lot of land. A big poetry. tree. Oh gosh, it's pretty this time of the year. Hmm. I don't like the poe. Why? No reason. I just don't like it. Well, I really don't care what he like or what he do like. I would have preferred mommy and pa to be home to talk to him. Not me. I don't feel like talking to him. I don't like him. Hmm. Especially when David is there. It's so hard. I wish I could run away with David now and not have Krishna to worry about. My life, eh? Well. And as much as we're getting married, we should uh, get to know each other a little better. Well, that sounds like a good idea. So tell me, you are uh, 18 years old? Yes, I'll be 18 next month. Hmm. So what do you do home all day? If he really know what's going on these days, he go ball. So we just sit down and talk. He asked me about what my hobbies was and some other stupid questions. And he went home. But before he left... Hmm. May I kiss you goodbye now that I'm leaving? We're not supposed to do that. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to see that there are still a few old-fashioned girls left. With that, he gone. One thing I know for sure, 
is David and me from now. Not Krishna. I love David and nobody else. Well, girl, this last week on here was something else. After the week, I went by my aunt in San Fernando and I was there for the whole week. So let me hear about you now. Well, I was really wondering what happened to you whole week, me and to you. Nah, I did, man. It's you I want to hear about. So what happened that night? Well, mommy and pa went to the wake that night and I had to stay home to the headache and half that. And since then, I've seen him every day. Every day? Yes, every day for the last week. Will you do anything? Anything like what? Like, well, you know now. So when you watch how we me and see you? Well, if you must know, I went to San Fernando and I had an abortion. What? You mean you throw away the child? Yeah, no. Nah. You mean just so easy like that? Do you take a life? Look, Indra, I ain't no saint like you, eh? Oh, and who would tell you I is a saint? Well, let me tell you. I see David for the first time that night by the tree. And the second time, oh, was the night of the wake he did come home here. And every day since then. Yeah, but how you did manage that with your mother and father watching you like a hawk? You know, mommy and pa always in and out of the house. So whenever I see they gone, I just hang up this yellow piece of cloth by the window. And that is how he does know when to come. <laughs> But you real half head. I can't believe you feel cheesy. <laughs> Anyhow, I just hang up a piece, eh? So when he come, I want it to disappear. And mommy go on market so we have a couple of hours to play with. You real get bright in a week? Yes. I have my now. <laughs> <laughs> but wait now. How you could throw where a child just so... Well, I realized I didn't want a child, so that was the only solution. Besides, I'm too young to get married and tie up myself. So, wait, what did child father have to say about all this? He have no say. In fact, he ain't no. You sure look me Nancy David pass into the back yet? You know how she fast. Look now, I have she to study now. If you I study in. Don't study me. I good. So let me hear about you and David. Well, it was a real good weekend. We don't have time to say much. It's just be enough time to get in bed and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we ask you to get married him? Oh, we don't have time to talk about them things. So it's every day then? Yes, every day. And it's like the best days of my life. I just feel to run out and touch the sun and the rain when I sit in the pui tree. And the dry pui flowers seem so much more beautiful on the ground than when they're on the tree. <laughs> Anna, you sure it's not poetry he teaching you? How <laughs> <laughs> should I? I love him so much. I just want to be with him all the time. Ah, uh, you wouldn't understand. And why I wouldn't understand? Of course, I just love him. And you ain't worried if your mother and them find out? I sure David could marry me. And how are you so sure? I just know. But ain't you just tell me that all you don't have time to talk? So how are you so sure? Oh gosh, I know, I know. Indra, you're never sure with me. All right, all right. I go talk to him today. I don't know, no? I'm really surprised. I never thought I would see you like this. I always thought you would have waited till you get married. <laughs> the pundit got dead when he hear this. Talking about your father, I hear something, you know. But I don't think I should tell you. Something like what? Look, I'm really sorry I bring it up. No, no, no. You can't leave me in suspense. You have to tell me. Well, I hear. I hear that how your father, he have a woman in Pina. What? 
and he defends the empty time machine. That is a lie, my father, not so. Well, look, I'm glad you don't believe it, eh? But then again, love me and Luna. Well, that is what I hear. And who you hear that from? Rookman tell my mother, and my mother tell me. So you never worry about where you just go every day? No, but it's fun to walk you doing, so I never bother about that. <laughs> but anyway, I tell you, he got a boy named Krishna for me to get married to. But plenty things will happen a week. The first day me and David get together, he come home saying, it's a good boy for me to get married to. And you still went ahead and do your thing with David knowing all of this? And you won't be a virgin anymore? Look, girl, I enjoy life, eh? So don't come here and confuse me with all your story. What do you think will happen when this boy who you're going to get married to realize that you is not a virgin? But the only person I get married to is David. Well, all right now, you didn't have to get vexed. I know, I know, but you come and confuse me with all your stories. When things going so good for me. Uh, sorry. Oh, it's all right. You remember my friend Sheila? Yeah. Well, anyhow, I was going now. All right. So why are you looking at me so then? Nothing. Something happened or else it would have been in my arms already. Sheila, she just come on and she confused me. So why listen to she for then? She was talking sense, you know. But the first time in she life she ever said anything sensible. What she put in your head? David, suddenly, I, I'm not sure. You're not sure? You're not sure what what? David, well, we, we don't talk. Talk? Talk about what? Well, we... We don't talk, we just, well, we just only do. All right, let me talk. Well? David, you love me? Of course I love you, Indra. Who say I love you, eh? You really mean that? I look like I can lie to you. Well, David, if you love me, marry me. What? If you love me, but Take my way from here. So that is what you and Sheila was talking about. Oh, gosh, David. W what if I get pregnant? What if my mother and father find out? Oh, but David, what I will do? Don't worry about that now. Things go work out. Listen, how long your mother gone? Oh, she gone, she gone market in San Fernando, not Princess Town. So, so, so we have a couple hours to play with. Well, I have about half an hour. I tell the foreman I have some business to fix and it could take me about half an hour. The boss then? Yeah. And when I'm on there, everybody does be on edge. David, look, my father planning to get married to some fella from Barrackpore. Well? But David, it's only you I love. You're the only person I want to get married to. Look, let me go inside. Everything will be all right. No! I want you to tell me first. What do you want me to tell you, eh? That you're going to marry me and take me away from here. Look, I getting transferred to Sandy Grandy from Monday. I didn't forget to tell what? you. What? So today might be the, the last day I seen you. I'm going there from Monday. You mean you only be here till Sunday? Yeah, but I can't come here on the weekend because your mother and them does be home. You mean this is the last day I've seen you? Well? David, you mean you're not going to marry me? Look, look, look. I ain't saying nothing about that. So we just see. Oh, God, David. Don't leave me. Come. Let me go inside. Everything will be all Oh, God, right. David. Don't leave me. 